All right, we're going to be looking at doing a Kager formula in Excel. A Kager stands for Compound Annual Growth Rate, and it is useful to determine how fast something is growing between two um, time periods. Now, you can see I've set up my data such that we have uh, the years 20, 2000 to 2018, and then data for each one. Now, it's actually overkill. We can actually simplify our data. You don't have to do it this way, but it's an easier way to look at it such that it matches our formula. Our beginning value is when our year began at. So 5 is the very first year of data that we're going to be looking at. And the last year of data is going to be 70 in 2018. Now the number of years is actually, and this is where a lot of people make a mistake when they're doing the Kager formula, when they're using a time period, because it's actually not just the count of these years. This says 19, but the problem is that this first year is actually an ending of the ending year value as are all the other ones. 2018 with 70 is the end of the year, and this is the end of the year. So we actually only have 18 full years, not 19, which means we need to update our formula to reflect that by our subtracting one. So we have 18 years, not 19. Now that we have our three pieces of data, you can see on our formula on the bottom left here, we're just gonna build out our formula and it's gonna do the calculation for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the and we're going to open up brackets and take the ending value and divide that by the beginning value and close our brackets. We're going to do it to the exponent, which is the shift 6 key. And we're going to open brackets up again for the second term. And we're going to do 1 divided by the number of years, which we've already calculated is not 19. It's 18 because we're using end of the year um, data values. And we're going to close that. And then we're going to subtract it by 1. And that gives us 15.8% CAGR between the years 2018 and 2000. That's a pretty good growth rate. Now, the nice thing about this formula is you actually don't need any of the data in the middle. It's literally just these two values and the number of years. And that's how you do a CAGR in Excel. If you have any questions on this video, let me know. Please subscribe to the channel. I've got lots more tips on the way.